Greetings, Callots River restoration enthusiasts. This is gonna be a really short one. It's just where I take a small space that was turning into an eyesore and I'm gonna give it a little facelift. So first I took down all the pans, I took down the old pegboard, and then I pulled my husband aside and asked him if he could take down some of the hardware that I've used that was giving me some trouble. And then I patched up all of the holes from hanging the old pegboard up. I used a plaster and then I learned this really cool trick where you, once it's dry, you go over it with a polyurethane to seal it before you paint and it's supposed to make it so that there isn't any difference in the finish. Sometimes when you patch holes and then paint over it, there's a difference between the patch and the finish. And after I did this, I realized it worked really well. So I painted it white and then I took out the new pegboard that I picked up at amazon.com. It was less than $50. And I just thought this was gonna give it a much more modern and new feel to it. But here's the thing. Mistakes were made, but thank goodness it is just paint. So boom, back to black it went. Then I marked with a pencil all the areas where I needed to screw that into the wall. And then I pulled in my trusty stay-at-home contractor. He's not stay-at-home, but my handy dandy Mr. Fix-It. And then he put in some things and some stuff and some screws and some things. And he attached it to the wall for me. And then I put in, and then, and then, what is this dude, where's my car? So anyways, I got a new set of pans and I hung it on the pegboard and here it is, ta-da! It's like a whole new space. I absolutely love it. It's amazing what a few little new touches will do for an area. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.